suck my dick, you fucking pussy. Oh! Yo, what's good boys? It's Riley and welcome back to another video. I hope you enjoyed that intro there. There was a ton of clips in there. I've been going absolutely crazy these last couple days. I hit a bunch of quad heads in there as you guys saw, which I'm pretty stoked about. And yeah, man, the grind is real. We're going off. And this video, as you guys can tell, is going to be the best class setup for sniping on Cold War, hands down. This is my updated class setup. I made two class setups previously for the Pellington and the Tundra, but this class setup I'm about to show you guys in this video is the ultimate hands down best sniping class on cold war if you guys don't run this class you're going to be running this class after this game because it is absolutely crazy so without further ado let's hop right into it so before we hop into the attachments on the snipers i run stim shot as my tactical tomahawk as my lethal and i play a lot of 12v12 so i am running sam turret for taking out uavs counter uavs and stuff like that for my perks, I got flak jacket and tactical mask because the stuns and explosives in this game are absolutely off the charts, so I run those. For my third perk, I run gung-ho. You're going to need to run gung-ho for this swap class setup, guys. It's going to make life a whole lot easier. You can swap weapons quicker. You can sprint while reloading. It just makes the game a whole lot more fluent if you're playing aggressive if that makes sense all right so first of all let's hop right into the pellington the attachments on the snipers are exactly identical so with the pellington for the barrel we got the 26.5 inch tiger team this gives us everything damage related fire rate bullet velocity reload quickness it's just a really good barrel and it makes the pellington not much of a hit marker machine you still get some hit markers obviously but this attachment makes it a whole lot more powerful for the body this is one of my favorite attachments in the game this is the tiger team spotlight and as you guys can tell in those intro clips the little red circle above the enemy's heads is all thanks to this attachment gives you 40 percent reveal distance and makes spotting enemies a whole lot easier when you are sniping on cold war so definitely run this attachment for the magazine i just run the seven round standard mag not the speed mag or anything like that because you do lose ads speed if you run the speed mag so i run the seven round mag for the handle this is a different attachment from my previous class setups i'm running the serpent wrap Previously, I was running the airborne elastic wrap, but if we look here, guys, you only get plus two ADS time with the airborne elastic wrap, and that's not really worth it because you lose plus 15% sprint to fire time. So that plus two increase on ADS time means nothing because the sprint to fire time, you need to get your gun up quick, obviously, if you want to win the gunfight. So having that minus 15 is no good with the airborne elastic wrap. You guys are going to want the serpent wrap. It'll make you get your gun up a lot quicker, and you will actually notice a difference. This is a change I've made recently, and it's absolutely game-changing, guys. You need to change the Serpent Wrap. And like I just said, the attachments on the Tundra are the exact same, so just copy-paste from your Pellington setup onto your Tundra. Now that we got that out of the way, guys, I'm going to hop into the live commentary section of the video. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoy the video at any point in time, and also subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 1K, absolutely grinding Cold War right now, guys. Love to see you subscribe. Got lots of content on the way. So yeah, with that being said, hop right into the commentary. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Peace. Guys, I'm stoked and bummed at the same time right now. I just hit a sick split quad headshot feed. Like, it was super clean. But I looked forward instead of turning to the left. I could have probably hit, like, a five on head if I turned to the left. But I didn't. And uh, it's whatever. It's still a quad head. That's a dope clip in my opinion. And uh, But I wasn't recording base cam. That's the only thing that kind of sucks right now. But what are you going to do, man? I'll just have to hit another one for you guys. But yeah, that's my first headshot clip on the game, believe it or not. So I'm pretty fired up right now. I love that feeling. Oh. But yeah, I'm pretty fired up. I love that feeling of hitting clips, man. Yeah, quad head. It was nice, too. Right, I'm about to sneak up on them. 
I'm really starting to understand the flow of this game mode, if that makes sense. It's so different from 6v6. Oh my god. Oh, how many times was that split? How many times? That was nice. I don't know what that was, but that was pretty sick. Mega kill. Six kills rather quickly there. Got him. I got a shadow play that before I forget. Let's go, guys. Here we go. We're buzzing right now. Split quad head last game. And then whatever that was this game. I hope that five on was on. I know the first five were quick enough for a five on. I just really hope it was on screen. Damn, guys. We're buzzing right now. Shots feeling good. I love this game mode. Like, opportunities, guys. So many. If I hit a same life clip... Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my shit. No. Guys, I just, like, started grinding for today's video. And I have two clips so far. The split quad head and then whatever that just was. So, that's crazy. I'm hitting, like, decent clips better than quad feeds to start it off. That's absolutely insane. Phil, I'm obviously using the class setup I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So this is just proof right here that this class set up mercs, man. I'm telling you. There's a guy right here. Headshot. Miss. Headshot. Anyone else? Nope. Woo! Nothing more satisfying than killing those hard scopers across the map. Kill him. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. There's another hard scoper there. I don't want to look at him, though. No, I hit a collapse, but he was on the zip line, man. F they're just camping on that boat, and I'm chill with it. I mean, it's annoying when they're actually good at hard scoping, but these kids seem to not be too good at hard scoping. So, this kid's on the turret. Headshot. One on the zip line. Got him. Kid behind me. Killed me. Okay, so it's the last flag. This is the best flag for clips, guys. If I can get on their boat and push the spawn. The spawn doesn't flip because of this game mode. So if I can push and hit some shots, I could go off. This kid is in the bin there. I'm getting a lot of headshots. I'm aiming high right now. Okay, I'm pushing. This could be it. This could be it. One. No. Okay, guys. If you sit in the boats on combined arms, you're a nerd. Just saying. Holy hell, that is so far away. It's... You know what this game mode reminds me of? If you guys have played World War II on PC, and you see the type of players in there, which is mostly 50-year-old men that, if you hit a quick scope, they call you a hacker. Like, people still call me a hacker and stuff in-game. But on World War II PC, it was every single game. And I'm 100% serious, guys. The players on World War II PC are a different breed, man. And that's kind of what how some of these kids play this game reminds me of how those guys played world war ii one two three four oh no all heads too unfortunate i doubt that was on one two three come on hop on the zip line Reload on the zip line. Hit marker to call out there. Okay, let me reload. Ah, dude, this game right now is insane. Nothing more satisfying than sniping kids off c -Dews. I know I missed that guy, but... <laughs> like... What was that guy's plan there? Just curious. Okay, I'm gonna try to push back on the boat. One. Two, I think it was the same guy. Three on the same guy, he's mad. Uh-oh. We got a boat, virgin. We got a boat, virgin. Oh, man. That was an insane game. Unreal. 
All right, I got kill cam. This is the six man I was talking about. That was definitely on. Okay. That, that should be on screen. I haven't looked back. It's probably split a million times, but yeah. I'm going to check that clip out right now. All right, I'm switching over to some 6v6. My lobbies in 12v12 are getting kind of annoying, so... I'm going to chill out, play some 6v6. I'm going to be using the Tundra as my primary. I feel like I haven't been showing it enough love lately, so... I'm going to whip it out. A few moments later. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause. Okay, that was insane, boys. Let me reload. They don't know I'm here. What am I doing right now, guys? That was so random. That collat, oh, that collat was insane. Genuinely can't believe that. Yeah, this is it. Let's go. Let's see this. It might not show the whole thing. Definitely not going to show the whole thing. That was crazy. Let's go.